Okay, so here's the points we're going to mark on here. We're going to mark zero because we're talking about positive and negative numbers here. So we want to mark zero on our number line. Now this is vertical. Why am I drawing this number line vertically if we're looking at changes that the reciprocal function does? Why did I draw this vertically? What changed when we looked up above here? The y values changed, right? So I think it helps to draw it vertically even though you know, it doesn't matter. Normally you draw number lines the other way, but that's why it's vertical here. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a very uh, scientific definition of this, but um, I'm going to call these things. Becomes very large positively. We're going to call this a big positive number. Becomes very large negatively. A big negative number. Um, decreases from 1 to 0. So I'm going to mark 1 and negative 1 on here. So there's four spots in there. There's this, which we're calling big positive numbers. Okay, Those are big positive numbers. There is this down here. Those are going to be big negative numbers. And then we have the numbers in between there. Uh, decreases from 1 to 0. So the numbers in here are going to be called... What are we going to call those? You can use your logic now. The other ones are big positive numbers, big negative numbers. These are going to be small. This is very un, unmathematical definitions. Small positive numbers, and this is going to be small negative numbers. All right, so I did that in pink. This is pink. And then, of course, all we have left is green. No significance to the colors other than seeing where we are here, right? Uh, now, we're thinking about what happens to a reciprocal of a number as you move in one of those regions. So here's uh, here's my little... No, we're going to use the separate pen here. Okay, we're going to start right here. Okay, if I... If I take this now and I increase of the number, a number that I'm doing, what happens if I increase the number in this region here? If I make it bigger and bigger and bigger. So, for instance, if I go from 1 to 10 to 100 to 1,000 and so on. If I go in that direction, what happens to its reciprocal? It gets uh, smaller, and what? Where is it going to be in here? Like, if this is ten, where is its reciprocal? Right here, one tenth, right? If I change it to a hundred now, where is its reciprocal? A hundredth, right? As this gets bigger, this thing is going to get smaller. But does it keep going like this? Does its reciprocal go way down there? No, it just gets closer and closer to zero here. It gets smaller and smaller. Is it ever going to actually get to zero? Can you have the reciprocal of something being zero? No, right? It's going to get, the, the larger this gets, the smaller this gets within that region. Okay? So I would say something like, um, as this becomes very big positively, this becomes small positively. What you can say is, the way you can describe that, that um, if you want kind of calculus talk here, because some of you are going to take calculus at some point, I imagine. If if you're letting this increase without stopping here, you're saying it is approaching infinity. It's approaching infinity means you're just letting it get bigger and bigger and bigger. As x approaches infinity, that's what that little arrow means. It means approaches infinity. 1 over x approaches, what value did we say gets closer and closer to? As this, as this gets, as a number gets bigger and bigger, its reciprocal gets smaller and smaller towards 0. As x approaches infinity means you're, you're going in that direction. You're, up, you're getting closer and closer to infinity. Its reciprocal approaches 0. Okay, if you want that, it's just easier to say than the non-technical terms I have over there. What happens uh, as x becomes very large negatively? What happens? x becomes large negatively. Big negative numbers. Then this is going to be 
small negative numbers, right? For the same reason, reason as before, if I let x go that way, its reciprocal is now in here, right? That's where its reciprocal is. Okay, the reciprocal of a big negative number is a small negative number. If you want it like this, you can say as x approaches, not infinity, but this time, if we're going all the way down, what value are we approaching? Negative infinity. As x approaches negative infinity, what happens here? This approaches, it still approaches zero. You could say, you could put a little negative sign here to say it approaches from the negative side and this approaches from the positive side. Not that we want to get too far into the calculus notation, but it's, it's approaching zero from this side. As long as you know that, you know, as this becomes very large negative, this becomes very small negative. Um, as this becomes a small number, as this approaches zero here, as x approaches zero from the positive side, so, I'm here and I'm going downwards here. As this goes down, what happens to its reciprocal? Goes up, gets bigger and bigger. As x approaches 0 from the plus side, 1 over x approaches infinity. And then to complete this here, uh, when you're on the negative side of things, as x approaches 0 from the negative side, small negative numbers getting decreasing or increasing from negative 1 to 0. As x approaches 0 from the negative side, 1 over x approaches negative infinity. I think graphically you'll uh, be able to make more connections in your, in your brain here when we look at a graph on the next page here. Okay. Any questions about that? As long as you have those kind of ideas about what a reciprocal is and what values don't change. I didn't put on here the ones that don't change, but where are the values that don't change? Let's put some notes here. Yeah, notes. Values of plus or minus 1 don't change. And what's the only other value we didn't look at on here? We didn't look at this value or this value. What's the only other value we didn't look at here? Zero, right? What's the reciprocal of zero? There's, it's undefined, right? You can't divide by zero. The reciprocal of zero is undefined. So um, reciprocals of plus or minus one don't change in values four, I guess I should say, not of, for zero are undefined. Okay, the reciprocal of zero is undefined. Okay, we're going to look at a graph on the next page here.